Uh, hey everyone, this is Ryan Akadeskolum, and I am in this room where I previously killed this thing. You might be wondering what the hell happened. Uh, I'm going to give you a little backup, while, or in other words, a little bit of backstory while I'm looking around. I have not played this game in a year since the last recording you saw. I am now uploading this to a new channel, even. You can find the original videos on Spirit Tonight if you still want to see them. But I'm finally resuming to play this game. I'm really hoping the audio records on this one, though, or else I am literally fucked. Hang on, bullets. The only thing is, though, I actually did a few things since I knew I was wanting to play this again. So I did a few backup things, like I kind of got my game fixed in the sense where I can now save instead of wandering completely aimlessly, having no idea what to do. And I do not remember this room. Oh, I think it was handy to pull so it's always nice. But more than all that, though, I still haven't really spoiled myself on this game. I want to play some of the other Silent Hill games. Actually, the reason why I'm playing this is because I want to complete this so that I can actually play Silent Hill 3. I'd rather finish this than start Silent Hill 3's. But as I said, this game will likely grow on me. Now, there's a few things I need to talk about while I'm going around that I haven't quite figured out yet. Lights off, because I know who's outside. But one of my main issues, which I'm having right now, is that there's something really weird about the controls I do not recall having last time. Because now I'm having a really big difficulty for some reason swinging my weapon, and that did not happen last time. And turning, like, when I, when I have my weapon drawn out, it's like all the controls get all buggy. I might want to switch the button, but I tried to switch the button. Also, I set the difficulty to normal, normal, but all the enemies are dying a lot faster. I have no idea why. And I recall them taking a million minutes last time. This one's taking a while, but. I mean, now look, it's dead. I could have sworn that if this was like last time, it would have gotten up one more time, because I recall that happening. It's Galloway, you fucking idiot. But then, as I said, just all this stuff, which seems a little bit weird, and I am having weird control difficulties I do not recall having last time. Here's kind of what I mean. Look, if I start running, I can't pull out my weapon. I, I, I suddenly get really, really hard until I stop. Then I can pull out my weapon, and then I can start turning around all over the place instead of walking. Until I let go of the run button. Then I'm suddenly able to do this, but it's still really, really hard for me to turn. Like right now, I'm trying to make him turn, but I have to stand still to make him turn while he's running. And it's getting really, really annoying. And uh, the other thing which I can do is that I can't just do it. I have to stop and then <coughs> attack, and then I can start swinging my weapon around. But I can't run when I'm doing it. And it's really bugging me because basically it means whenever I'm running, I have to run in a straight line. And I can't turn when I'm running, and I know for a fact that's not how it was last time I was playing. Trust me, it is getting very grating. Hopefully, somewhere down the road, I'll be able to solve this issue before we continue. I really am hoping so, because that will just handicap me more than I probably need to be in a horror game. Alright. Uh, anyways, onward and outward, we're actually going to the place that we were at last time. As I said, I, actually, before we go up there... I'm, fuck, it's really dark all of a sudden. But before we go up there, I'm going to go back down, because, as I said, I now have a saving thing. I want to use. Fuck, it got really, really dark. This hotel was not this dark a second ago. In fact, I turned the brightness down a little bit so that I would be able to see. There it is. This is just to prove that I magically saved our saving issue. Okay. As I said, I also I have a lot more healing items this time because I just kind of ran because I knew exactly what I was doing and I didn't need to kill any enemies or anything. In fact, I, I don't even think I've been hurt yet this on this playthrough. Mainly because I know everything that's happening, but I really don't expect that to stay. Okay, so flashlight on. I said the hotel seemed to have gotten darker the moment I got the flashlight. Plot convenience! Well, there's probably a reason. In Silent Hill, everything has a reason. Everything. Alright, so now I'm actually starting to get nervous. Mainly, I guess, I, I don't know why. Because, I mean, I know there's nothing happening immediately. But then literally the last room I played was the room that you got the handgun. I kind of just stopped playing there. And I haven't played for years, so now time to figure out what's... Okay, and also I think... I do not think I solved my audio issue, but it sounds better. Like, there's noises that are starting to play that weren't playing last time. And I'm hoping that's a sign that the audio is slightly better. There's some audio that wasn't playing last time that is now. God, this is creepy. Like, last time this music wasn't playing. There's some music tracks that sound like they're working now that weren't working last time. Damn it, this music is really creepy. As I said, I must have not gotten the full experience last time because this music, I at least I don't remember it happening. And in fact, I don't think there was any music in the hallway last time. Which, now I'm kind of happy there wasn't last time. This is kind of a nerve of the Yeah, I know the lock is broken. There's supposed to be a door here somewhere. I can open it. The camera angle is all weird to try and control. Look, 
there's an audio error. That would be the error. That fixes itself. So I'm not really too whiny about it or anything like that. Alright. Now, after the major progress we made last time... Major. Meaning that what just took me a few minutes to do, I can now do immediately. We now got the handgun. Which has me very, very nervous. Because this was the last point I played the game at. Wall... Wait, what? The wall's puck mark with gunshots. Just your typical day at school. Uh, wait, not turn lights off. Let's, I'm going to switch... Try, yeah, that's how you switch weapons. That is not very fluid animation at all. That's actually a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. Uh, anyways, the point is, we got that. I am really hoping that the gun won't be really, really difficult to control. Because, sure like hell, the other weapons are right now. And yes, I'm kind of just stalling for time, hoping that I can stop something from happening. The wall is locked and broken. I can't open it. I would turn off my light to avoid enemies from seeing me easier, but there's not really a point. It's pitch black out there. And sure, they wouldn't see me, but I wouldn't see them either. I'm just really hoping I don't have to fight the camera, because I'm almost 100% sure there's going to be something back out there in the hallway. Now, except maybe, maybe there won't be. Because oftentimes in these horror games, they don't make enemies pop up until you have your guard down. So thus, there wouldn't be any enemies in the hallway because I'm expecting something to come after me. Or maybe that's too much wishful thinking. I did not remember my inventory. Sorry, inventory, I don't need you right now. Alright. Now there's no music. Well, speak too early, I suppose. That's lagging music. For some reason, that calms me, so it's lagging. I don't know why either. The stick is actually helping me affect this injury my ability to walk, but... You know, it's kind of weird there's a cage there. Just a random... Why can't I walk right up to the cage? In fact, now that I have a gun, what am I supposed to be doing? It's actually a very good question. To me, at least, because, I mean, there aren't... Was there anywhere I actually needed a gun? I should not remember any place I needed a gun at. Some places I might need a flashlight, but the fucking camera angles. Like, do, can I now suddenly go through this door? Okay, no, that's not it. God damn it, I'm not gonna get all lost against this gun, right? Okay, was there anything else in here that I needed besides the gun? Because it really honestly doesn't look like it. I mean, it wasn't like a key card or some magical thing. Okay, a 